Our kit ranges from simple things like this all the way up to an Arduino compatible microcontroller block that can be programmed simply by flipping this programming shield and connecting it to a computer. So we started in an educational research lab at Stanford. We found a problem with the way that people are learning electronics. There's a lot of stuff that, first of all, you can't see, which makes it hard to learn. And on top of that, if there's not someone around you guiding you, it can be very hard to troubleshoot your mistakes and figure out what's going on. So we combine an easy construction toolkit that lets kids build circuits easily with an interactive tutor that can recognize what's going on as the kids are building the circuits and guide them along the way if they make any mistakes. So on the physical side, we have magnetically connecting electronic component blocks that let you quickly build an actual circuit. But say a kid does something and it doesn't work, like in this case the LED is backwards and they're trying to troubleshoot it. You can pull up the light up app and then analyze the circuit. The app looks at the circuit, recognizes the pieces, and does a simulation to try to figure out what's going on to provide instant guidance through the process. So in this case, the LED is backwards. The app can recognize that and displays a message. It also shows that there's no current flow, because in this case, there is none. In other cases, the app can show visualizations of where the current is flowing and provide guidance on other kinds of mistakes that kids might make during the process. Our kit ranges from simple things like this all the way up to an Arduino compatible microcontroller block that can be programmed simply by clipping this programming shield and connecting it to a computer. So we're launching on Kickstarter this Thursday. The kits range in price from $30 to $200. At a basic level, we start with some simple components like LEDs, buttons, motors, buzzers. And on the high end, we start introducing microcontrollers, IR wireless stuff, and you can do some pretty cool projects like a nightlight that turns on by itself all the way to something like a TV remote control.